Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special guest with us. Joining us is none other than Jean Marie Hellander, the acclaimed writer and director of the upcoming action thriller film Sisu. The movie is set to hit theaters on April 28, 2023, and promises to be a must watch for all movie lovers. With a gripping storyline set in the last days of World War II in northern Finland, Sisu follows the journey of a prospector who sets out to retrieve his stolen gold from a group of Nazis, featuring an all-star cast including Joe Montamala and a team of furious villains. This film is a heart-pumping adventure of courage, determination, and action that is not to be missed. Let's welcome Jomari Hellander to the show to learn more about his creative process and what inspired him to make this thrilling film Sisu presented by Lionsgate okay it's very interesting I'm looking at your room and I see a poster of Rambo <laughs> first blood okay I don't know if you know this if if uh, Emma ever told you but first blood directed by my mentor and good friend Ted Kotcher <laughs> uh. has become a classic in the action uh, genre and it is widely regarded as a masterpiece. Did the film have any influence on your own filmmaking, particularly when it comes to Sisu? If so, can you share how First Blood inspired you and your creative process? And if not, what inspired you to make the movie Sisu? Uh, First Blood uh, has a huge influence on me uh, of course with Sisu but with basically everything uh, when I saw Sisu as a kid we we skipped school and, and went to my friend's house with the VHS and saw first blood I don't know was I in the third grade or something fourth grade uh, it basically changed my life after that I was running in forest with a Rambo knife like every day and, and shooting with a bow and arrow and, <laughs> and it still goes on. Uh, I, I love movies which basically you can put in an idea that there's a dude you su- you're not supposed to fuck with. And uh, that's what Sisu is all about. And that's what First Blood is all about. And right. I love that kind of story stories. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I put up on my show a, a small 60-second YouTube short with just images of your movie. Okay. And within days, I got over 100,000 views. Not only okay. that, not only that uh, the comments I was getting was when's the movie coming out? I can't wait till the movie's coming out. I want to see this movie. Those are the the comments that people were sending me. So I was like, this is good. This is a great film because I saw the film and I, I was just blown away. Um, how did you prepare for directing a movie set during World War II in Northern Finland? Of course, it was a lot of uh, prepping with 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 the tank and the cars and making them look dirty and, and with all the Nazi clothes and the weapons and and all the stuff we need to bring to that place in the middle of nowhere, with, with, which was a struggle itself because we were basically in the middle of nowhere and, and uh, it's really far away. And um, it, it was a really, really nice adventure and I still miss every second of it yeah yeah what was it like working with the cast including uh joma tomala and uh, of course the characters that played the nazis and the women also that were on the set i mean it was just chemistry was just unbelievable well uh, like i said i had the best time of my life uh everyone was so committed to do this and And uh, I was in a really good mood because I knew from the second we started, this is going to be something, something special. 
I, I, I could feel it every day and so did all the others and, and we have like a really good um, um, like a vibe going on for the whole time and, 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 and it helps to be in the middle of nowhere so that no one goes like home with your uh, with your family during the night and, and come back in the morning but because we were all there just doing this one thing and and uh, I love that kind of movie make right the main character uh, in Sisa is described as having an unimaginable determination uh, in the face of overwhelming odds what qualities you think are necessary to embody the spirit of Sisu? Well, you need an actor like Jorma Tomila to do that. Uh, that's for sure. Like, he doesn't have basically any dialogue and, and uh, it's not that easy job to, to carry the whole weight of the movie in your soldier, soldiers and, and, and not to have basically anything to say. So you have to do it all with your body and with your eyes and your face and, and what's happening basically inside you. And, and that's, that's what, what Jorma do, does best. Like he's amazing in his job. It was excellent. His look uh, alone uh, uh, set, set it all in the yeah. film, which is, uh, you capture that uh, totally. How how did you uh, approach uh, uh, filming the action scenes in Sisu, which are described as uh, outrageous uh, lengths that the main character will go through uh, just to get his gold back? <laughs> you know, which is well, like wow. It, it it basically happened while I was writing because. I knew that I don't have like uh, millions and millions of dollars of uh, budget to do this. So I knew that I had to be more inventive than all the others. And I, I need to step out with, with some really cool and, and never before see, seeing uh, uh, ideas. And, and because it's not just about he killing them it's about how he kills them how he survives right uh and that basically the the homework was done while writing in a way right right the concept of sisu is often associated with uh, the finnish uh culture how did you incorporate finnish cult the cultural elements into the film Uh, well, basically, the whole theme of the film is deep in in Finnish culture, and and it was so cool to finally be able to shoot actually in Finland with the Finnish crew, and uh, and um, I don't know, I think there's a lot of Finnish Finnish things in in this film. Right. Can you uh, talk about any challenges or obstacles you faced during the production of Sisu? Well, probably the biggest obstacle was the wind and the horse. Uh, wind was so hard that it it, it was it made uh, made mo most of the days like a huge struggle to be able to just like do anything. And and uh, and the horse was uh, a huge pain in the ass. With he didn't want to do what what I liked him to do. That's <laughs> <laughs> it, it, always a thing when it comes to animals and films and stuff like that. Yeah. So I've heard nightmares. Yeah. You're not the only one. So it's it's all good. What do you hope for the audiences? Uh, take away from uh, watching Sisu? Well, I, I hope they learn the meaning of Sisu. And I think it's explained pretty, pretty graphic way in the film. And, and I, of course, uh, hope them to be entertained and, and constantly surprised of what's happening in the film because 
I bet there's not too many parts where you actually could guess before what what's what's Adam gonna do next, like. Uh, and I, I think that is the thing what makes it so entertaining. Right. What advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers who want to make action movies like Sisu? Uh, focus on writing, trying to figure out new ways because it isn't all about the money it's about the ideas of what you're gonna do and and you have to be you have to stand out some somehow from millions and millions of action films to yes. to be able to do your work so focus on the ideas excellent excellent can you give us any hints or teases about uh your upcoming projects after sisu or also, will there be a CISO 2, <laughs> a part two, a sequel? Well, I have an idea of, of, uh, of CISO part two, uh, and, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, but I have an idea for that. And I have an idea also for another really badass action film. And, and I have one sci-fi film coming and, I have a lot of projects now uh, coming from Hollywood, and I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Right. It was a great film. I enjoyed it. And uh, being a friend of Ted Kotcheff and knowing uh, the whole story behind First Blood, mm -hmm. I, I wish you success in this film because you captured many moments and you also were incredible in doing your own thing. This film is, is, is your own masterpiece, I call it. And it, it flew well, and I, I just bonded with it. So I wish you luck. Sisu is in theaters on April 28th. Um, everyone, go see this film. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much.